hi guys welcome back to today's video uh i do just want to let you guys know that if you do hear background noises then i do apologize that uh, both my windows are open thing to consider when getting a puppy is finances have we got enough money to look after this dog which is obviously common sense dogs uh people say dogs are expensive i wouldn't agree with that we spend very little money on murphy we occasionally buy him toys and obviously we buy his dog food they are kind of the two main things we get him and he's also on a pet plan which i pay like 15 pounds a month for i think which covers his flea worming nail clippings things like that vaccinations the second thing i wanted to talk to you guys about is where to pick up or find your pet from so obviously there are rescue places i got murphy off a website called pets for homes which is a really well-known website you have to be so careful when doing that but we decided that we wanted a dog that was a needed a loving home but with a very good temperament to become an ESA dog now I'm gonna do a whole video talking about an ESA dog what is it why I have him what he does um, in another video so that was things we considered and the other thing we considered was a cost of a dog did we want to pay for a dog or were the dogs out there that we could just have and because they needed loving homes. Now, we didn't actually pay anything for Murphy. Murphy was just needing a loving home, and we felt that we could offer him that loving home at the time. The third thing that we considered when getting a dog was the time that we had. Did we have, was there always someone at home who could look after him when we, went out or we were out for long periods of time now obviously that's changed because i got murphy with my ex-partner um so things have changed but i'm fortunate enough that i have got family so it's these kind of circumstances that you need to think about who's going to have the dog if a relationship breaks up things like that now murphy came to me because or stayed with me because he was more attached uh to me so we did it in the best interest of Murphy rather than I wanted him or my ex-partner wanted him. Um, so that was kind of the way we played it and it's worked out really well. Murphy's still very attached but he's getting more attached to my new partner, Jamie, um, quite quickly. Have you got the time? Um, it's really important having the time to a train them b spend time with them cuddle them love them and make sure they go for walks dogs are not like cats cats will look after themselves dogs really do need attention affection and love murphy is obviously more attached to me so as soon as i get up when i'm in my bedroom he will come and follow me he doesn't leave my side um so yeah and the last thing i want to talk to you guys about getting a dog is the equipment that you need or should have now for us these are the things that we bought to help to help settle murphy the first thing was a crate people have different views about getting a crate for a dog dog shouldn't be caged up things like that we have never left murphy in his crate when we've gone out he has always had the roam of the house. It's only for bedtime that he will use his crate or when he's been naughty. He uses that as his safe space. He is actually falling asleep now in there. He's absolutely exhausted from his morning walk. So he's gone to have a nap. <laughs> so that's one of the first things. The second thing I would definitely recommend is a harness. Now, with Murphy, we use harnesses. We have never used, I don't think, until, apart from us getting him, we have never used the lead on his collar. I personally really don't agree with that. I wouldn't like to be choked by my own collar. So why should a dog? Like, I'm very funny about it. So Murphy has got two harnesses. He's got his service dog harness and his normal harness. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Get, make sure you comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.